you know, how does it feel to come off? You know, you mentioned just how big of a win this was on the road for this team, but to, to come back and get back to work. But how does it feel to be able to do that coming off a win, and especially the way you guys had to win it at the end and things like that? I felt real good. You know, I think, you know, the team's um, expectations and hopes and everything for the rest of the season are really high. And uh, the team morale and chemistry is where it needs to be uh, to can you continue with the season that we're having. And you know, we're, I think we're in a really good spot right now. How big was it for the offense for you guys to unfortunately struggle a little bit during the game and then come up with two big drives when you needed points, the field goal and then your touchdown pass oh, in the huge. fourth quarter? It's huge for confidence. It's huge for uh, not just confidence in us, but con confidence in the defense and the coaches as well, knowing that when it's late in the game that we, we can pull through and produce. Uh, but we're going to you know, watch film today and break down what we did wrong and you know, try to correct all the mistakes that we made. How did it feel having Austin Fort back for that game? Just what, what you kind of noticed from him getting him back in the mix? It was awesome. You know, I don't think he got a target, uh, but him being out there and him running routes and the, the different things that he can bring to the table within that tight end group is um, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing, you know, because with Harshman and Tyree, you know, throwing in Austin, who's more of a, a guy that can go up and get a ball or run under one, uh, he just kind of brings a different element. Just kind of what are your thoughts, you know, Boise's, you know, coming off a win over a, the 19th ranked team in the country and mm -hmm. seemed to kind of dominate on, dominate that game, I guess. I don't know how much film you've had a look at yet, but just your thoughts of, of them. I know they've kind of been the, you know, one of the bell cows of this league for since they mm -hmm. joined. Just what are your thoughts of that? I mean, you, you understand that Boise's going to be a good team every year. They're always well coached and they always get some, some good recruits. Um, you know, but I think... You know, they, they, their game against San Diego State was you know, a testament to how hard they're going to play and um, whether they were struggling on, on offense or defense at the beginning of the season, I think they're starting to get things rolling. So, uh, you know, getting in, watching film as much as possible and starting to develop a game plan with our offensive staff is going to be key this week. You know, it's uh, never easy to beat Boise, especially in their stadium. Um, has been done, so we're going to see what we can do to get that job done. Josh, seems like you've been doing a little more running and even you know some option stuff in there. Did, you ran the read option some in JUCO, is that right? Or yeah, it was more of a spread system uh, option type scheme, but um, yeah, I'm feeling good. Is that something you guys have worked on more in practice this year, or just something that's you using more in games? A little just kind of uh, using more in games when the you know, opportunity presents itself. Obviously, it's a different year against Boise, but is there any sort of confidence you can take knowing you guys did win that game and, and made some critical plays against them yeah, last year? Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes when you go up, go up against an opponent like Boise and uh, there's some sort of mental block, but, you know, I understand that we beat them last year and, uh, you know, we're in a good position to do the same thing. Uh, you know, it, it just helps us all that more. It gives us more confidence, you know, but at the same time, it gives them a reason to play even harder when we go there. Um, I'm sure they want to get back at us for what we did last year, and I think that's the beauty of this game. It looks like you might get Caden back this week, and I know with, with whether it's been injuries or just moving guys around, it's been kind of a shuffle of, of offensive line. Just just how hard has that been to, with different guys in there every week, you know, to kind of get into a rhythm offensively, or, or has that been hard? And, and your thoughts of hopefully getting Caden back this week? Yeah. Having Caden back would be huge for us. You know, having him and Ryan um, on the right side again is going to be a good thing for us, I think. Uh, but you know, with all the shuffling around, you know, I've got a lot of confidence in them. Got a lot of confidence in Coach Fuchs and what he's able to do with the offensive linemen that we have and the schemes that we have put in place to put them in position to to do their job and that's to open holes and try to keep me clean. Um, so I mean, it's, it hasn't been too tough. I just got to put some trust in them. And you guys, two conference games, you've got you know, two pretty big touchdown passes late. Is it, you know, does it feel a little bit different still when you get down into crunch time at the end of those tight conference games? Absolutely. And the tensions are high, and you know, pressure situations are what I live for. And, um, you know, I feel like I thrive in those situations, and I think we've got a, a good plan in place uh, when we are put in those positions with Coach Vegan. And I think he's one of the better offensive coordinators in the, in the nation. And I'll keep saying that. And, um, he just has an act for calling the right thing at the right time. Josh, is there, any, is there a different feel to a team after winning a game on the road? Is there is there a different aura to that than maybe even a home win? Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, away wins when you're getting to celebrate in their locker room, and um, it's the plane ride home is it's just fun. It's a it's a good feeling, and um, every time you lose on the road, it's 
the exact opposite. You know, the plane rides quiet. You don't really hear anything on the plane, and it's just kind of sad and dull. But uh, you know, it's definitely a confidence booster. It's a character builder to go over there and uh, win how we did. Any questions on the phone? <laughs> Thanks, Josh. Um, Steve from that O Statesman here. Um, obviously, you know, in the offseason, you had a lot of attention, and um, you know, it seems like you handled it pretty well. What was it like for you early this season, maybe when things were clicking, um, you know, trying to turn to maintain that confidence? You know, it is frustrating at times, but I understand the bigger picture here, and uh, what we're trying to accomplish this season had nothing to really do with the. First couple of games we played and uh, went into the Mountain West Conference Championship. You got to play well in Mountain West Conference games, and you know I think we're we're definitely um, you know rising to that occasion. Maybe after that start, some of that you know that that attention maybe just kind of away a little bit. Is that is that better for you? Is that you notice the difference? No, I, I can really care less about all that stuff to be honest. So I guess you know now as a whole, you, you mentioned it. Uh, you know, I think as a team we've come together and uh, we've grown a lot. I think the maturity on this team and the, the leadership has been been crucial for what we're trying to do here. And you know, that starts at the top with Coach Bull and you know us trying to buy into what he's what he wants to do with this program. And you see the shift in the culture here, and um, it's 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 pretty amazing to be a part of this. You're, you're in a similar position as, as Brett Rippon is up here. Uh, you know, a lot of your your top targets graduated, and so you know it's kind of you know part of his responsibility, and I'm sure yours, to kind of bring along those next guys. How have you kind of maybe seen the other receivers and running backs and even tight ends kind of um, step up this season? Um, it's been huge. You know, the the growth that they've shown throughout the off season, and now you know, six games into the season. Um, you know, they're, they're more confident, they're understanding what they can and can't do. And you know, everything looks great on practice film and going against scouts, but when you get in the game, you got to find people that can make plays. And I think we got um, a few that are more than capable of making those plays. Thanks, Josh.